Hi, I'm Charlie from Agriland and we've been across the country talking to dairy farmers about the cost of production and the current milk price. We visited Stephen Arthur, Chairman of the IFA Dairy Committee, on his farm in County Wicklow to find out his thoughts on the current milk prices. Are current milk prices sustainable for dairy farmers? And if they're not, what needs to be done to correct them? I don't think the current milk prices are sustainable for farmers. You take the current price on average of 40 cent of base, that's the equivalent to 30 cent back in the old days. What's happening now is the cost of producing a litre of milk has rose. We're on the cost and some, some co-ops are below cost of producing. So we're coming into the most expensive months of the year. All the fertiliser accounts are due to be paid. Contractor bills are due to be paid. There's a shortage of cash on farms. We're talking to a lot of farmers. Money is tight on farms at the minute. Any further cuts to the base price would see many farmers fall below the cost of production. Is this likely to happen? The market indicators are saying that the market is, has bellied out. We would hope that the cuts are finished. I think it's important and we appreciate the co-ops. There is co-ops out there supporting the supplier price and we would appreciate them to keep it going for, the far, for their shareholder farmers' sakes. But like any further drops, it's going to be detrimental to farmer incomes. And cash is already very, very tight on farms at the moment. It's putting a lot of stress on farm families. Father and son, Joseph and Joe Hughes, shared their concerns on the milk price. We went down and visited their dairy farm in Carnew in County Wicklow. How much has the cost of production gone up in the past two years? We're looking at probably an increase of 30%. Um, energy, meal, I suppose, and fertiliser would be three main. And which has been the biggest impact on the business? Meal. Meal has been the biggest impact, followed by energy, really. Have you adopted any new measures to reduce the cost of production on your farm? Um, we'll obviously have reduced fertiliser use by approximately 30%. Um, we've tried to re reduce the amount of meal, um, but the fact we have the spring and autumn herd, it's not as simple. Um, I suppose we're looking at measuring grass and trying to grow the pastures, clover pastures now as well at this stage. So we've done what we probably can do in-house, but you know, we need, we probably need support from government and all, you know, we can't just contain what's happened. I guess it was one issue, I guess we have, what's happening outside of the farm is not the cow's fault. So I suppose we can't punish the cows in terms of not giving them extra meal or not looking after them. Like they're our bread and butter and we have to look after the animals as much as we can first. So, so all we can do is look after the animals to the best of our abilities and we shouldn't make them punish on the head of what's happening outside of the farm gate. What base milk price do you need to cover your costs and make a profit? It's difficult to say at the moment because the, the market is so volatile with prices of fertiliser, you know, uh, meal as well. But we'll be estimating 45 cent, that's a minimum, to make a profit. Do you think that the prices will hold or will they drop even further? There's no reason that we should fall any further. If anything, we should be coming back up to start, coming back on par with, with the world market. And, our, and our, anyone you talk to around, I suppose there's no belief why it really should, is there? No. Like only recently, we've had a bit of a football thing there with all the bigger uh, supermarkets playing around with the milk price, you know, just to improve their market share. But we're paying the price for it. Like, and I can't believe that the government wouldn't intervene and have fair trade there, you know what I mean? For the sake of a few cent, which is actually nothing to do with the milk price, but it's give the co-ops another reason to fall the price. Next, we caught up with the president of the ICMSA, Pat McCormick, in County Tipperary. Are current milk prices sustainable for dairy farmers and what needs to be done to correct them? I suppose, you know, it's, it's a very complex question um, and the easiest answer to give is no, they're not sustainable. Given the costs that we've incurred in the month of March and April, and now to find a lot of co-ops paying below the ba a base price below 40 cents a litre. Um, you know, given that it's not that long ago since IFAC issued figures where the cost of production was in excess of 42 cents. There was a lot of expensive fertiliser bought in the, the spring of 2023 and co-ops and various other merchants were very slow to pass back the reduction in fertiliser price. Um, you know, I suppose what can be done? Um, hopefully we'll have a favourable growing conditions for the remainder of the year and that that will help reduce costs and equally hopefully we'll see a recovery in the marketplace and it's absolutely imperative that when a recovery comes, not if, when a recovery comes that our process pass it back immediately. Um, I would say that definitely 2023 has been the most stressful uh, period for any farm family. Uh, I, I feel it myself and 
every farmer that I speak to, whether they're from North Donegal, South Wexford, uh, or indeed across in Kerry, um, you know, they have said that March, April period, combined with unprecedented wipeout of their income, uh, has meant for an awful lot of stress. Added to that then, you had the nitrates um, directive, uh, you have cow bending, uh, and you have the possibility of losing the derogation. You could see that the market was under pressure last October and that the price of the 57 cents was unsustainable. But equally now, I believe there are signs out there that you know we have based out, certainly the Dutch quotations would indicate that. And it's absolutely imperative that there are no further cuts for the confidence of our dairy industry. Producers are also under pressure. Their cost system is slightly more intensive and higher than our own. And I believe that we'll see a squeeze in the supply chain and hopefully we'll see a move, a positive move uh, in mill price before too long. We met with Owen Corrigan, a young dairy farmer in Batstown, County Meath, to hear his views on the issue. How much has the cost of production gone up in the past two years? So our variable cost of production have went up by 50% in the past two years. And what has been the biggest rise in your input costs? So the three biggest rises in our input costs has feeders went up 97%, Fertilizers went up 60% and contractors went up 50%. And what impact has that had on your business? Uh, massive. Um, look, last year the price of milk thankfully rose pretty much at the same rate as our call space. So last year we managed to maintain our profit margins. Now it left it very uncertain during the year. This year now we're in the scenario where prices have remained high, but uh, your input price is declining rapidly. And have you had to adopt any measures to reduce the cost of production on your farm? So, in terms of variable cost, there's very few that you can reduce um, in a short period of time. Like, you look at feed, we've implemented clover, we started over sowing clover here in the farm, but that's a long-term return for potentially reducing fertilizer in the future. So it's maybe an eight to 10 year before we'd start seeing a reduction in your cost of fertilizer. Uh, you look at feed, your single biggest cost, um, you still have to feed the same amount to your cows to ensure production. We've crossbred herd here. So we've tried to select uh, a production system that um, is as efficient as possible, but still there is a requirement for uh, purchase concentrate. And with milk prices reaching record highs last year, and I believe they've fallen by about 20 cent per litre, how much pressure has this put on your farm? Yeah, so like I said, last year it was okay, but this year now the price of milk has fallen below the cost of production. So it puts us under huge financial pressure. And what base milk price do you need to cover your costs and potentially make a profit? To cover cost for 23, we will need an average milk price of 40 cent for the year to cover our cost production. Now, currently the price of milk is at 37 cent a litre before uh, VAT. Um, and this is going into the period when the vast majority of our milk is produced. So we need a lot more to make sure we'd be financially viable for the end of the year. Three pieces we mentioned before, feed, fertilizer and contractor, are still very high. They're very close to what they were last year. So every farm this year is, is, is struggling.